השם יש בחירות. הדרך היא דרך הקלבי, לא סתם אנחנו עושים בחירות. הדרך שבה מיעוט החליט שהוא יחליט שמדינת ישראל לא תהיה דמוקרטית, לקבל הכרעות בקלפי באמצעות שלטון הרוב, לא באמצעות 15 שופטים שהם חושבים שהם יכולים לעשות מה שהם רוצים ו... לא לתת את הדין לבוחר. איפה 64 מנדטים? איפה? תראה, תראה, תסתכל. אתה מסה ביבי, שם עליך זין. הוא ממשיך גם היום. אתה תמשיך להילחם בשביל המוסים עליך זין כרגיל. Welcome back to my YouTube channel back in Jerusalem and uh, an incredible day to be here. The story of the day in Jerusalem is these anti-government, anti-judicial reform protests uh, that you can see behind me, people flooding in uh, from the entrance to the city from Tel Aviv and from further afield in order to answer a call from organizers to come and protest in Jerusalem. Now, for those who've missed the debate up to now, what's going on is effectively the Israeli government has literally just today begun the process of advancing extremely controversial legislation probably the most controversial legislation in fact in Israel in recent years and it seeks effectively to massively curtail the independence and the power of Israel's judiciary specifically its Supreme Court the reforms on the table are going to give uh, the government effectively control over the composition of who sits on the Supreme Court the Supreme Court is currently the only check and balance on Israel's somewhat uh, fickle system of democracy. Israel doesn't have a, a single constitutional document but rather um, a series of basic laws which set out some of the fundamental principles of the state and uh, if these reforms are passed the ability of the judiciary to be able to cut uh, to uh, to strike those down is going to be at best extremely weakened. Worth pointing out as well that you can see the protesters flooding in from all over Israel as I mentioned there is a small counter protest uh, 100 meters across from where I'm standing and those people are in favor of the reform saying that basically the, uh, the, the independence and the powers of the judiciary and the Supreme Court have gone too far and some kind of rectification or modification such as the ones being proposed are, is necessary but uh, to point out the numbers we're talking about probably 40 people uh, fortified with uh, border police in all directions to keep themselves from the other protesters versus um, I'm not sure what the turnout has been reported on as yet but probably thousands or tens of thousands of people. It's the beginning of a slippery slope. Uh, we are comparing ourselves to what happened in Hungary about five years ago. And that's how it started over there. And pretty quickly it changed to ac academia, the whole university having to move to Australia. Uh, one, uh, one famous example of one university actually moving to Austria. But really, it's the moment people are afraid to say what they think, the academia cannot function anymore. People leave if they can. The better, of the, the better people leave. Are you worried that the good, the good standing of Hebrew University, the Israeli universities, is going to plummet because of these? Yes, for sure. People like me, like my friends, will not want to stay here. We will not stay in a, uh, a non-democratic state. So do, you, do you already see your colleagues in the university leaving, talking about leaving? Yeah, actually, I have a friend who is a professor in Weizmann who took a leave of absence. Is it related or not, but he has left for now. So people are responding very badly. But it's just to begin. Most of us are still hoping that the sense will return and uh, people will, will, be, will understand that this is something that's going to hurt everybody, not just the opposition. I came back one month ago from Birmingham from a Limud night with a lot, a lot of good Jews and half of our people are over the seas and they have to understand that we are in a very big crisis and we need them, we really need them in this moment. The form of Judaism that is forming now in Israel becoming less and less acceptable for many people. We feel ashamed, we feel ashamed right now, many of us, to be Israelis. We will not stay here to keep your country if this is the form of Judaism is going to flourish in here.
have you, have you experienced uh, anti-Israel feeling yourself already because of this? I feel very deep anti-Israeli feeling inside me and among my brothers. I don't need others to say to tell me. I don't need the BDS. We are not going to support him more, even though I love Roger Waters' songs. I'm not going to support him today because this is my country, and I love it, and I have to fight it, not to fight against it. My name is Dror, I'm living in Jerusalem. It's not a reform, it's an anti-democratic revolution it tries to say that the people itself, the nation itself, has utmost value, as if, as if the nation itself is God. And I'm here to say that this is an idolatry. This is not Judaism. Most important uh, revelation of God is justice. And our government today is non-Jewish government because it is against justice. It is against the, the justice of God. Do you think among the religious community in Judaism there's a lot of uh, a lot of people feel the same way, a lot of opposition? No, unfortunately, there is a deep mistake in Israel, as if democ democracy and Judaism is vice versa. The challenge is to explain to the Israelis, national uh, Zionism forgot that the the Judaism is much deeper message than the nation itself. אני חושבת שהקהילה הגאה תהיה מהקהילות הראשונות שישלמו את המחיר על החוקים החדשים כי את הממשלה מנהלת חבורה של הומופובים שמעוניינת לפגוע באפשרות שלהם לעשות פונדקאות בישראל שנוצרה רק בשנה האחרונה ותמשיך לפגוע בזכויות שלהם גם בהמשך את המעט שהם הצליחו להשיג אני יכולה להגיד לך שהקהילה הגאה בהתחלה פחדו לדבר בהפגנות למשל עכשיו הם מתחילים להתעורר אני חושבת שהם פוחדים ובצדק. So I'm here outside the uh, Supreme Court building, one of the ground zeroes in this uh, ongoing debate that's happening in Israel about uh, the role of the judiciary in Israel's form of democracy. According to estimates, um, as many as 60,000 people and growing have turned out today, so certainly a large, a large uh, turnout. Uh, the protests today come after US President Joe Biden, in a very, very rare move uh, for an American president, released a 46-word statement yesterday saying that an independent judiciary is an essential part of the genius of American democracy, which he says is shared by Israel, and that building consensus around fundamental changes to society uh, is vital towards uh, establishing uh, support for them. Uh, so uh, sort of a veiled criticism of, uh, of Israel's move towards the system rapid change in a system of governance which hasn't had the support of a referendum or an election or any kind of uh, direct democracy from uh, Israel citizens. We've seen a lot of interesting groups uh, turn out to the protests here. We spoke to some uh, religious Jews, members of the LGBT community. We spoke to some high-tech workers. We spoke to academics, lots and lots of academics in particular, uh, concerned about how these reforms could impact the freedom of speech in Israel and uh, by proxy Israel standing not only in the international community, but specifically in the uh, academic world. Hope this video was interesting. If you want to get more videos from me about life in Jerusalem, Israel, and all these interesting debates we're currently having in our society here, uh, then do consider subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel and thank you for watching.